here is from the uh, from the blue color those folders had the black and gold of my tigers, but uh, uh, I signed uh, my usual signature, Jeremiah. Governor, on the small business loans, uh, have you talked with the Development Finance Board or its chairman Peter Kinder about that? And are you thinking of going toward legislation if they don't want to do it on their own? And what type of small businesses are you interested in? Uh, we've been in contact with the staff, and, and Director Martinez will begin working with the staff, and we'll, through our initial appointments, begin to uh, to, to make this, this uh, action clear. I don't think the legislative action is necessary for that initial step uh, on this executive order. I'm very, very hopeful uh, in our initial discussions that they will work with us uh, to help uh, free up these needed resources for small businesses across our state. I think yesterday's meeting was a great example of those small, small uh, businesses that can grow. Uh, Enrique from uh, Kansas City is starting up a new business that's trying to do, um, for example, as one example, trying to do oil changes and other fluid changes, uh, not at their place of business, but at people's place of business and their homes. Um, they, they've got some employees, they want more, it's a growing business, it's a growing opportunity, uh, and I think those businesses and others. I also was uh, uh, very impressed by the young couple who have a, a small business they want to grow that is helping in, in cyber technology. They, they, they come in, they try to hack into the companies, they show the weaknesses, and then they help uh, those companies protect their, their vital information that they have. Those are all good examples of, of young businesses uh, that, that, that haven't today gotten the, the breaks the big guys have gotten. They haven't gotten all the front page headlines and everybody talking about the, uh, the, the multi-million, multi-billion dollar deals. Missouri's economy is built on a small group, of, uh, you know, a group, a growing group of, of, of innovators and small business folks, and we hope to, uh, to, to, those are two good examples of folks that if they had additional resources, I think it could start creating jobs today. There are 80 loans are the people who were in this room yesterday, the people who are the inside track on those 80 loans. Yeah. We'll, we'll evaluate, Linda, Linda and her team will evaluate uh, those to make sure that we're getting the quickest job creation uh, for the least amount of resources possible, but we are certainly going to be moving quickly. Uh, to try to uh, to begin a process that makes capital available to small businesses that need to grow. Is 25000 enough for those businesses? And that's what we've got. Uh, and obviously, uh, as we look at this, making initial first steps is important. As you turn the ship of state, turning in a degree or two and beginning to move in another direction uh, is the beginning of the process, certainly not the end. Um, and, and while uh, there are, are many other programs and many other parts of the Show Me Jobs, uh, that, that we'll be working on this, I think, is one for those small businesses out there. As you travel the state and talk to folks, you see that whether it's a tire store or a, or a, or a barber shop or whatever, or a, a small computer assistance company, you see these small businesses on main streets and in small towns and in, in corners of, of big cities that, that just want a chance to, to make it on their own. And I want to make sure they know they have a governor that stands here ready for that that entrepreneurial independent spirit for you. Governor, will your, proposed, will your proposed budget include uh, anticipating some sort of federal economic stimulus package, or will it budget, will it balance separate of, of any proposed federal stimulus package? Um, uh, we, are, we are looking at, uh, you know, obviously a, a, a challenging budget uh, climate, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll certainly see uh, a week from today the initial uh, statements by, uh, by the uh, by the new administration. I do think, though, with the slippage of time, I mean, the initial plans in the D.C. Uh, was to try to get something done on, on Inauguration Day. I do not believe, from, from my chair, at least from, uh, from our, our, our indications, that that's going to occur. Uh, we in Missouri uh, are going to plan our budget and our budget process uh, uh, on our own. Uh, and and if, if, uh, if we receive help and support from Washington, then we'll, uh, uh, then we'll use that to uh, to move the state forward. I think that especially uh, with the slippage back in time from, from original signing that came with 20th, maybe they're now talking about February, that by the time you began to see some of those things, we could be much further into the uh, year. But 